Okay, so we are back. We made a decision last time to uh, start putting these out a little earlier on Wednesdays and Thursdays so that you guys can have some time to digest what we say and then also give you guys just more time to see the post in general. I want to first bring on my co-host, Cam. Cam, how you doing, man? Yeah, doing great. I hope you took our, our picks last week because we absolutely crushed it last week. Ready to get after it again this week. Got some really good games. The slate is gorgeous. So should be some more good football this week. Don't look now, but honestly, the season's almost over. So get these football weekends in with your boys and keep watching, keep listening and uh, keep uh, making money. Yeah, absolutely. So let's hop right into it. First of all, these lines odds are brought to you by Action Sports. You can follow us there on Action. I'll put Cam and I's profiles up here. Um, but yeah, the player props will be through prize picks. Of course, use code leave, but the picks themselves will be through Action. My first pick before I toss it over to Cam, Steelers money line at minus 146. Now, here's the thing. This is a game that Kenny Pickett needs to win, not only for the franchise, not only for the front office, but also for the fans, if you want a chance in this division, you got to be able to beat the Ravens without Lamar Jackson. I think this is going to be a one where uh, the Steelers run away with it. 56% of the current public bets are on the Ravens plus two and a half. So I like the fact that not many people are thinking of the Steelers right now. I'm taking Steelers money line minus 146. The last thing I'll say, their last five games, they beat Atlanta, they beat Indiana, they lost to the Bengals. They beat the Saints. They lost to the Eagles. So what's happening is they're losing to the teams that are clearly better than them in beating the teams that they should beat. So that's my first one. Eagles or not Eagles, Steelers, money line minus 146. Cam, let's hear yours. Yeah, definitely staying away from that one. But uh, also going, also picking a divisional matchup, I'm riding with Tennessee this week at home. They're coming off back-to-back -back losses. Divisional game, T-Law's not 100% healthy. It's a four-point spread. I like the King this week and the Tennessee Titans to get it done. Uh, what was the line? Were you able to see what the odds were on that game? Ooh, I'm still deciding. I'm still deciding if I'm going to take the spread or the money line yet, but definitely riding with them for sure. I think it's like minus 172, I want to say, right now. Okay. So definitely below 200, which is like what you want to see. But I mean, I have a little more balls than you, so I'll probably just take the I'll probably take the points. Hey, man, eating your vegetables sometimes helps out. And this is not one of those times. I'm actually going Seahawks minus four for my next bet. Here's I always have this philosophy against the Panthers or just any team in general. Whenever there's an interim head coach that comes in that first game they play, that first game they lead and coach, the team usually wins. The team galvanizes and around each other. They all play team um, football or team, whatever sport, and they get a nice team win. But that is not consistent. Bet against the consistency. Sam Darnold comes in and gets a big win. There's a reason Sam Darnold was benched behind Baker Mayfield. I'm saying that the Seahawks in Seattle definitely, definitely cover a minus four against the Carolina Panthers. Cam, let's hear your second one. I know you're not going to like this one, Jay, but I am touching this Vikings-Detroit game this week. I'm riding with Detroit. It's a classic Vegas trap line. A 10-2 and two team versus a team that's I, below 500, clearly we thought would be tanking. They've been turned around on offense. The Vikings are the Vikings are overachieving. They're nine and zero this year in one score games, meaning they're getting a little lucky. Then they're they're a little worse than the record says. I'm not saying they're a good team, and I am yes, Kirk Cousins. I am betting against one o'clock you. So I know you listen to all these podcasts. So just know I got my money on Detroit this week. Yeah, the Lions. I will say that that was my game that I went in touch with a ten foot stick. However, if I was to bet a side, it'd probably be Lions. You know. Um, winning that game. Detroit plays you tough at home. Detroit can put up points. Jared Goff, sometimes, you know, he's Jared Goff with throwing interceptions. He'll be a little um he'll be a little careless with the ball, but they can put up points. Uh the Lions are a scary team. They're one of the teams I just don't bet on or against regardless this season. So I like that pick from you going again with the Lions, not against them. My last one, Tampa Bay money line. I can't believe I'm saying this because nothing in that Saints game convinced me that they should win in San Francisco, but I will say it's the same philosophy I rolled over from that Panthers game. Brock Purdy, first game in, gets a win. Everything's looking great. Everyone's saying he can get the job done. No. Kyle Shanahan's going to make his job really easy. A lot of dump downs, a lot of screens to McCaffrey, a lot of quick pitches to George Kittle on the out, maybe some wide receiver screens. 
but I think the Bucks defense will be ready for it. I'm fading Brock Purdy. If you want to instead go Tampa Bay plus three and a half instead of money line, you can parlay my three picks I just gave you for plus 503. I think that's great value. And I think that all my picks are going to hit. Cam, let's hear your last one. That is my game. I'm not touching with a 10 foot stick. Uh, I mean, rookie quarterbacks got against Tom Brady. I do like that. I mean, if I would pick a side, I would ride with the Bucks. But I also don't think – I disagree with you. I don't think Brock Purdy is that much of a downgrade from Jimmy G. I mean, the system's designed for him to win. That defense is playing out of its mind right now. So I'm definitely riding with San Francisco. So not touching not touching that game. But my last pick is uh, – when I was looking at the lines today and, like, all the money spreads and stuff – Taking the Cardinals plus two against the Patriots. All the money, for some reason, is on Pats minus two. Marquise Brown and DeAndre Hopkins are finally getting back. Marquise played a little bit last week. He's getting definitely a little healthier now. Uh, they had a bye last week, so you got two weeks to prepare for this game. And they're at home. I'm riding with the Cardinals plus two. See, that one scares me a little bit because I don't think people are betting on the team's strength, on the depth of team. I think they're betting on the fact that Bill Belichick isn't going to lose a game to Cliff Kingsbury. I think that's what they're betting on. And the one thing that it, that scares me is I think that when Bill Belichick starts the game, he's going to immediately double DeAndre, just take him out the game from the start. That's what we usually see him do with big wideouts. So I'm interested to see if Kyler Murray can combat that and cover that plus two. Like you said, they don't need a win. You just can't lose by two points you know exactly so i love that those are our bets for this week cam t- hit me with it yeah last thing plus two it meant something a little extra to me today when i saw it got a shout out jay gotta give you a little shout out because i was going to take the giants money line last week and you reminded me that i should eat my vegetables so i took the plus two and that game ended in a tie so because of that uh that is why when i saw the plus two again this week it just meant something to me and i had to i had to rock with it hey man no one likes eating their vegetables it's not a fun thing to do when you buy down that point from minus 110 to minus 150 you hate yourself for doing it but it's the difference between winning that bet and not winning that bet you know so that's our bets for this weekend. We'll also put these on action so you can follow us there and track them. I'm currently 16, four and one. Cam is 14 and two. He's got the better bet percentage. I can't, I can't hear the end of it from this guy. I'm hunting you down, Cam. Any last words? Yeah, I mean, maybe you'll catch up one day and not have double my losses. So, I mean, just just something to keep an eye on. Definitely follow our picks on action until uh, you can keep seeing Jay mess up. Unless you should really be following me if you really want to make money. But that's just you all make your own decisions there. Yeah, absolutely. Before we get out of here, I have two bets on action for tonight. It is Raptors first quarter against the Lakers. Put that in before LeBron was ruled out. And then second off, we have Bucks money line against the Kings tonight in the first quarter. Hopefully those picks hit. And the next time we address you guys on this, we'll be happy. All right, we'll catch y'all. Peace. Peace.